Chapter 5 The Mother of Buddhas At that time, foremost reverence Bodhisattva asked the Buddha, World-honored one, how did Buddhas and Bodhisattvas develop their radiant wisdom? What is the difference between illuminating silence and silent illumination? Are the two truths the same or different? Do they exist or not exist? What is the nature of the highest truth? The Buddha answered, Buddha son, wisdom that arises from realization of the relative truth, the absolute truth, and the highest truth in the middle way is the mother of all Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. Even all Dharma doors are the mother of all Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. Why? Because all Buddhas and Bodhisattvas are born through Dharma doors. Relative Truth and Absolute Truth Buddha son, both relative truth and absolute truth always exist, so they are not the same. Both are empty, so they are the same. Whether or not a Buddha is in the world, the two truths in the Dharma realm do not change, nor are they nothingness. Whether or not a Buddha is in the world, they appear in the Dharma realm as two truths, so they are not the same. In accord with both truths, Buddhas appear in the world for the sake of sentient beings. Dharmas are pure in their emptiness, so they are the same. Dharmas in true reality have no birth, so they are the same. Dharmas in true reality are not dharmas because they are empty. Dharmas in true reality have no birth, so they are the same. Dharmas exist under false names based on their perceived appearances, so they are not nothingness. Buddha son, the two truths are neither the same nor different, neither unceasing nor ceasing, neither coming nor going, and have neither birth nor death. Stated as two truths, they reveal the holy wisdom in the middle way, the non-duality of dharmas. And wisdom is the mother of Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. Buddha son, Buddhas in countless worlds in the ten directions all say so. I now have briefly explained to this huge multitude the essential meanings of the two truths. Immediate Enlightenment Then foremost reverence Bodhisattva asked the Buddha, Buddhas and Bodhisattvas skillfully illuminate the Dharma realm with their wisdom in the equality of dharmas. Are they enlightened immediately? Or gradually. You have not explained this. Buddha son, you already asked the past seven Buddhas these questions, and you know the answers. It is to enable this huge multitude of fourteen Kodi people to receive a definite answer that you ask me these questions. Buddha son, for the sake of this huge multitude of fourteen Kodi people, I now expound the definitive meaning with my Vajra voice. Buddha son, in a past Dharma assembly of mine, one Kodi eight thousand stainless great ones on the eleventh ground penetrated Dharma nature and immediately realized the non-duality of Dharmas that arise upon convergences of causes and conditions. They left the Dharma assembly and went to worlds in the ten directions to reveal the great store of the garlands of bodhisattvas. The multitude in that assembly saw one Kodi eight thousand world-honored ones, called immediately enlightened Tathagatas, each seated on a lion throne made of a hundred treasures. At the same time, countless multitudes in assemblies elsewhere listened to the immediately enlightened Tathagatas. Therefore, there are only immediately enlightened Tathagatas, no gradually enlightened world-honored ones. As Buddhas of the past, present, and future say this, so too I now say this. Ignorance and Enlightenment Buddha son, you say that ignorance and enlightenment are the same mind. It is not true. If ignorance and enlightenment were the same, then there would not be bondage and liberation, and ordinary beings and Buddhas would be the same as well. Why? because the bondage of one's afflictions and liberation from bondage would then be the same in one's mind, and an afflictions arising and eradication would occur together. Buddha son, if bondage and liberation were the same, the four domains would be one, and the six flavors would be the same. 
Yet, the four domains are different from one another, and the six flavors are different from one another. In the same way, bondage and liberation are different. Buddha son, when a holy bodhisattva was still an ordinary being, he had all the afflictions. When he broke the bondage of his afflictions, he first removed the coarse ones, then the fine ones. If enlightenment and ignorance were one thing, then light and dark would not be two things. Buddha son, even ordinary beings' minds can have goodness, so how can a mind free from attachment to appearances still have ignorance? Buddha son, in the kingdom of Magda, only non-Buddhist masters, such as believers of the Anda or egg creation story, claim that light and dark are the same in appearance and that good and evil are the same mind. Buddha son, my Dharma correctly states that there are bondage and liberation, as well as ordinary beings and Buddhas. The same doer does good and evil as he is reborn during a hundred kalpas, but his good and evil arising at different times are not the same mind. As ancient Buddhas often say that the appearance-free wisdom fire removes the darkness of ignorance, it is utterly wrong to say that good and evil yield the same fruit. While one's goodness leads to Buddhahood, one's ignorance of the truth leads to repeated birth and death through causality. Therefore, good causes bring good effects. Evil causes bring evil effects. Thus, one's goodness frees one from repeated birth and death and leads one to Buddhahood. buddha son, the goodness of ordinary beings and holy beings can be said to be affliction-free because they act against their afflictions. Even as Buddhas teach sentient beings to turn away from doing evil, to do good, they receive requitals through causes and conditions that are not free from their afflictions. Those who do karmas out of ignorance receive corresponding requitals, such as the three kinds of suffering, pain brought by a cause, deterioration of pleasure, and continuous change in every process, and the three kinds of experience, pain, pleasure, and neither. Pleasant and neutral experiences come from good causes. Painful experiences come from evil causes. The root of all suffering is one's ignorance of the truth. Kalpas of Spiritual Training buddha son, you asked how many kalpas a bodhisattva's training would take. Suppose one takes a rock, one li, two li's, ten li's, or even forty li's in length, width, and height, and a celestial garment that weighs three zoos. By the time scale of the sun and the moon in the human world, if one brushes the rock with the garment once every three years until the rock is worn down to nothing, the duration is called a small kalpa. Suppose one takes a rock eighty leaves in length, width, and height, and a three zoo celestial garment from a Brahma heaven. If one brushes the rock with the garment once every three years until the rock is worn down to nothing by the time scale of the radiance of hundreds of jewels in a Brahma heaven, as if it were the sun and the moon, the duration is called a medium kalpa. Suppose one takes a rock eight hundred leaves in length, width, and height, and a three zoo celestial garment from a pure abode heaven. If one brushes the rock with the garment once every three years, until the rock is worn down to nothing, by the time scale of the mirror-like radiance of thousands of jewels in a pure abode heaven, as if it were the sun and the moon, the duration is called a large kalpa. buddha son, the time it takes to consume a one li, two li, or ten li rock is called a one li kalpa, two li kalpa, or ten li kalpa. The time it takes to consume a 50 li rock is called a 50 li kalpa. The time it takes to consume a 100 li rock is called a 100 li kalpa. In the same way, the duration of a 1,000 li kalpa or a 10,000 li kalpa is established. buddha son, all sages and holies use such time scales to measure how long it takes them to go through dharma doors to attain buddhahood. It takes a hundred kalpas to become virtually equal to a Buddha. 
Sentient beings that train for Buddhahood do not consider these time scales to be too long. Those who do not train are not called bodhisattvas. Buddha son, among the Dharma doors, the ten faithful minds are the roots of all actions. Each of the ten faithful minds has ten levels, totaling one hundred, called the illumination door of one hundred dharmas. Furthermore, each of the ten minds includes one hundred minds, totaling one thousand, called the illumination door of one thousand dharmas. Furthermore, each of the ten minds includes one thousand minds, totaling ten thousand, called the illumination door of ten thousand dharmas. In this way, the ten minds can multiply into an uncountable number of supreme dharmas, called the radiant illumination dharma door, which has a million asamkhayaya merits. All actions go through this illumination door.